Today's Gospel Saturday, March 2, is from St. Luke chapter 15, verse 1 to 3, 11 to 32. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them, Jesus addressed this parable. A man had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your estate that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After a few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country where he squandered all his inheritance on a life of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that country, and he found himself in dire need. So he hired himself out to one of the local citizens who sent him to his farm to tend the swine. And he longed to eat his fill of the pods on which the swine fed, but nobody gave him any. Coming to his senses, he thought, how many of my father's hired workers have more than enough food to eat? But here I am, dying of hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants, Quickly, bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate for my son was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son had been out in the field and on his way back, as he heard the noise in the house and the music and dancing, he called one of the servants and asked what this means. The servant said to him, your brother has returned and your father has slaughtered the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. He became angry and when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I served you and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when your son returns, who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, for him you slaughtered the fattened calf. He said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice, because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's faithful reflection is from Sister Kat Hukaban of the Edsa Shrine. If I were asked to share one word that comes to my mind when I think about God's love, I would say relentless. It's the kind of love that doesn't give up even during the toughest of times or when we feel unworthy of being loved. Today's gospel about the prodigal son is a great reminder of how God meets us where we are at whatever point in our life. During times when we feel on top of the world mighty and strong like the younger son or frustrated like the older son. For today's reflection, I invite you to focus on the father who loves relentlessly and unconditionally. Despite the different personalities and circumstances he faced in dealing with his two sons, he remained steadfast in his love towards them. 
He took the prodigal son back with open arms. No questions asked. He also understood how disgruntled the older son was with the whole situation and took no offense when his decision to forgive the prodigal son was questioned. In our own families, are we able to emulate the steadfast love of the Father? When we experience betrayals and disappointments, are we willing to forgive and show compassion towards family members who have done us wrong? Maybe today's gospel be a reminder that despite being surrounded by challenging family members who are difficult to love and understand, believe that God will grant us the grace to show mercy, compassion, and love to heal and restore our relationships. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your steadfast and unfailing love. May you never tire from welcoming me with open arms. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.